Yay, the internet is working. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let me make sure that I'm, the sound is off and that we are good to go in our group. How's everybody doing tonight? Have you been working on projects? Have you been working? What has everybody been doing? So I'm just making sure that I am shared. Okay, so hopefully we're where we should be. So welcome, welcome everybody. Um, I hope that the lighting is good because from what I am seeing on the screen, it's looking more like a subtle peachy color, but this is the petal pink. Um, but we're going to go for it. And um, so I just want to welcome, welcome everybody. My name is Terry Brummagem and I am with Crafts A Latte and I so much appreciate you joining me this evening. Um, if you have any questions throughout, I try to watch the comments, but if not, I always go back and try to um, comment on all the comments. So if you um, have any questions or want to look for the measurements tonight, I will um, be posting everything like always on my website, uh, craftsalatte.com. If you're interested in ordering anything, then here is my host code. Please use the host code when checking out. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna be doing a card tonight and a real fun little um, box that pulls out. And normally I would be putting treats in there to show you how it works. But for those of you that may know me, I've got some medical things going on that I'm having to really, really watch um, what I eat. So, uh, I'm not going to lie. I can't have those treats in my house because I will enjoy them. So, um, just keep that in mind that it can fit all kinds of stuff. So I kind of wanted to go with some non-traditional colors tonight as well. Last week you saw the real cute chocolate candy bar that I did as well as a treat box in the normal, uh, real red and basic black and basic white. Well, tonight I wanted to do something different uh, and show you colors that might be uh, for Valentine's Day or for wedding showers or for a wedding gift or uh, baby showers, bridal showers, whatever the case may be. And so um, these colors that I'm using tonight have become very popular. So I wanted to use something different so that you could um, not only maybe use it for Valentine's Day, but also for... Um, all the other things that I said, like for wedding or birthday, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and or share. And you you might be put in the drawing for uh, Happy Mail. And so if any of you have received Happy Mail, you'll have to let me know uh, what you think um, just by joining me on your Wednesday night and um, just engaging. Oh, hi, Deborah. Hi, hi. And so that's why uh, I ask that you engage with me. So you'll have to tell me, do you want to do the box first or the card first? Um, so while we're deciding, I'm just going to show you a couple of things. I've shown this to you before. And the reason why I want to show you this is because uh, of my reasoning behind doing some of the projects that I'm doing tonight for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to go ahead and set these up here. Okay, so what I'm using tonight is the Peony Garden Designer Series paper. And you know that I like showing these because our paper is um, just some really, really good quality paper and it's reversible. So what I like to show you on here is where we um, are using front and back, front and back. So that's what these squares are. And then these are the coordinating colors. So for tonight, like I said, I didn't want to do your traditional Valentine red, deep red. And so I am using this petal pink right here. And we're also using gray granite. And some of it is going to be the basic gray. Okay. So I really like the peony garden 
designer series paper that comes in the suite, but it doesn't mean that you have to use it specifically just for that suite. And so if you missed these cards that I did, you can always go back and watch the replay. But that's why I wanted to go ahead and show you some of the stuff that I did do because January seems to be a really big month for people getting ready for their uh, bridal showers, their weddings. Um, these are really pretty even for baby showers. And so um, I thought that I would just kind of go over what we've done in the past so you can understand why I'm choosing the colors that I am. So um, just real simple. Uh, again, if you haven't seen these, you can always go back and watch the replay. And this is where I had done a step-by-step. -step. It looks intimidating, but if you go back and watch the replay, you will see how amazingly quick and easy it is to make these flowers. Okay, uh, so here's just a one that says your sweet friendship refreshes a soul. So again, it doesn't have to be um, for Valentine's or wedding. It can be loving things to a dear friend just because you're thinking of somebody and you want to sh sprinkle some love like Deborah says. We aren't supposed to say that S-H-A-R-E word anymore. We're supposed to say sprinkle the love. So please sprinkle my... Um, uh, live here and get some happy mail okay so and then this is just another one that i think i just happened to do in different colors so you can see um the difference in the designer series paper and how the layout is just a little bit different uh you like the step by step yeah this i'm such a visual person deborah so thank you for appreciating that um it just makes it really easy when we are putting stuff together so again um if you missed that live you can go back and see that on the replay and we're going to also be using the Elegant Faceted Gems tonight. Um, these are some real pretty colors. And so I'm going to go ahead, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do the box first. So what these are is, I love these new boxes. And these are in the new mini catalog on page 11. They are these little boxes here, Love You Always Treat boxes. And you get 10 boxes for $9. So you can do the math. Um, that that's a really good deal uh, if you you may not have kiddos but you have some friends or your mom or your sister or your nieces I'm sure would love um, uh, elegant little gift like this you can put candies you can put gift card with tissue paper you can put um, perfumes lipsticks whatever your heart desires but um, this you're gonna be surprised at how fun and easy and quick this is so let's go ahead and pull out the supplies. Let's put this here. And we're also going to be using the um, meant to be stamp set tonight. So I'm trying to use stamp sets that I know um, some of you may have purchased last year that did carry over. So you didn't want to invest into any of the new um, heart stamp set, which is why I'm going to pull this up just a little bit, um, which is why I really tried to utilize. So we're using meant to be. And with the meant to be, you have the stitched be nine, be, stitched be mine dies. And so what I really love about this is I'm gonna be showing you a lot of different ways how we're gonna be able to really utilize um, the different steps of how to do the hearts. But look at how many um, hearts you have in here. There's actually 16 dies in this set. So I really love this set and I hadn't used it very much. And I was like, wow, it's just it's just a really stunning set. So hopefully you'll think the same thing when we um, are done tonight. So let's go ahead and pull out everything that we need. So we're going to go ahead. Let me just put these aside here. And I'm going to show you how quick it is to put the box together. So it comes with the inside and here is the outside. It it's already put together for you on the outside and I just kind of um, go like that a little bit okay let me make sure that my mess is cleaned up here so then here is the box and all we're doing is I don't know if you can see it or not but it's already scored for you and so all we're going to be doing is folding and scoring with your bone folder hopefully um, for those of you that have, um, are signing up to be on my team, you're taking advantage of the new celebration and getting all that free paper. A lot of you have been asking what would be on my um, kit, 
Well, the bone folder is absolutely one of them. My pick tool is one of them. If you don't have adhesive already, then you need that. But if you have any questions at all about joining my team, please don't hesitate to ask because I would hate to have you miss out on an opportunity to get a really good deal. Um, so celebration goes until the end of February, okay? And so I'm just continuing to fold. And so um, there's all kinds of perks and I'm not trying to push the selling, but I figured, well, while I'm folding here, I may as well talk to you about it. Um, we have team meetings. We have challenges where you can win stuff. I mean, it's all about um, saving so many uses and special events that you can use those for. Yes, Deborah. Um, I think that, um, you know, there's some bridal expos coming up. So that's good to know. All right, so what we're going to do is it's it's just going to kind of all fold together. So we're going to go ahead and take these four tabs here and fold in, okay? And then while we do that, we actually, let me pull this side over so you can see better. We're going to go ahead and fold this over like so, and then it's going to kind of click. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side, and it's much easier to kind of do it at the same time. Okay, come on little guys, as I say that. Then we're gonna be able to push this side down, and then we push this side in, and then um, you probably won't be able to hear it, but it just clicks, and do you see how fast and easy that was? Um, and then what's gonna happen is we're just gonna, and I actually wanna make sure that this little crease is on the bottom, okay? And so there we have it, just like so. So then what we're gonna do, again, because I have a couple, two projects tonight, I'm gonna kinda, you know, go a little bit faster so that I don't hold you up too much. I'd rather show you more. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take our basic gray and we're gonna adhere it, and then we're gonna lay it with the Peony Designer Series paper. So. I want to make sure that I know which one is going to be my front. And at this point, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that open so that I know. And then let's go ahead and adhere the uh, basic gray first. Okay. And I am just laying it flat right now. What we're going to be doing a little bit different tonight, everybody, is we're going to be doing a belly band over the box. You've seen me do some belly band cards, but it's a little bit different tonight. And you know what, I'm gonna, I need some weight, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my sanitizer in there. Maybe a little, uh, well, I need that glue dot. Uh, so, oh, that should be enough. And so uh, the, le the band is going to um, not be removed. And so I'm gonna show you a trick where you're gonna to wanna to make sure where you seal it. Oh, hi Trish, how you doing tonight? Thank you for joining us. Okay, now I'm going to take the petal pink and this is what I'm gonna be doing for my band. But remember, I am not going to be um, removing it, but I still wanna bring it to the front. But I'm gonna show you a little trick. I don't want to score my band. I'm just going to take my bone folder and kind of fold it just a little bit to give it some flexibility, okay? Because um, I wanna be able to bring it up like so. And so that's what we're gonna be doing there. But first, before we do that, let's go ahead and get our ribbon. As you can see here, um, I've got this ribbon that comes with this sweet gray granite. It's very pretty. I don't know if you can see and if it does any justice through the camera, but I just love this ribbon. It's easy to fold, and um, sometimes it gets blurry if I try to come up too much, but this is just a really, really nice ribbon. So what I like to do is I'm going to just go ahead and fold it, try to center it best I can, fold it over, and you know what? The stuff that you're not gonna be able to see, um, I like to just take some cheap old tape. So I'm just gonna take my scotch tape and hold that down. I know, I know, scotch tape. But you know what, adhesive um, can add up. So why, right? <laughs> 
So I'm gonna make sure that you're in the camera and I'm gonna go ahead and tape this down first because it is a little bit curly, okay? Come on, try to make that straight. All right, so then I'm just gonna take another piece of tape and then I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it as close to the edge like so. Make sure you take your ribbon shears and uh, I always say this, but make sure you mark your scissors that are just for a ribbon so that they uh, don't get dull on you. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're done with that ribbon for just a minute. And so as you can see, I am bringing my band to the front because if if I don't, then you're gonna see it on the, bo on the bottom of the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up and make sure it's kind of in the center even though uh, the heart is gonna be big enough. So just bring that up like so. And the ribbon is pretty good there, okay? So then what you're gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead, hopefully I'm in the camera well enough. I'm gonna go ahead and take our stamp and seal plus and really put a good amount well i'm wanting to come on there we go so you want to put a good amount so that it does stay okay and then once you do connect your band then you can go in and crease the sides if you choose to you don't really need to but you certainly can okay and it's better that's gonna be covered okay so then what we're gonna do is come in I've already pre done some of this for us because you unless you haven't um, seen me run things through the die cut and emboss machine then I can certainly do that but I have pre die cut everything and so just to give you an idea uh, the, some of them are double layered. So for this one, what happens is it's going to cut out the two pieces, okay? So it's going to cut out like so, and then this is the part that goes there. And earlier when I was making this, I was like, oh my gosh, what, what happened to my piece? Well, it can get stuck on here. So you want to make sure that you take your pick tool. So whenever you run your um, delicate dies through. I recommend going front and back, but with our new machine, you don't even have to. But then you've got to make sure because what's going to happen is it's going to be stuck like so. And you're just going to come in and pop those holes and it'll pop right out. Uh, so you get two out of one, which is what I did. So I am going to go ahead and take my petal pink heart and my basic gray and I also did a little one for the end of the box. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some of this mess out of the way. And what's nice is you can use those extra pieces for other projects. And I'm gonna be showing you some other things, but you get the gist, I'm thinking, uh, of how the dies work, right? So I got another, another little fun trick for you. So my desk is an actual mat if you do not have um cushion because we are actually um going to be doing some gluing and some different things and i'm going to show you a little trick these are rubber stamps and so you don't necessarily need to worry about the um, cushion as much and so what we're gonna go ahead and do is, for this one, we're gonna go ahead and do Happy Valentine's Day because um, I probably will end up giving this um, to somebody so uh, it's okay to have it be Valentine's Day. And I'm going to simply take our classic basic gray and the way that we open it is I label the pad on the outside and I just realized that this one is not labeled on the inside. So I'll. Sh I have a video out there how to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my basic gray and I just tried to center it knowing that um, it looks like it's not gonna fit, but there is a little bit of a border. So as you can see, um, it looks like it's not gonna fit, but 
you're, what you're looking at is the black writing, not the whole image itself. So I actually could go a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna make sure I come in real good with my base of gray. And I'm gonna do it again. And I'm trying not to put my head in the camera. And so if I don't like the way that it looks, then I'll just turn it back over. But I wanna show you tips as I go that um, don't ever throw anything away, especially when you're just starting out because all you have to do is turn it over. And so you can use whatever side you want. And I think I like, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, so this is the trick I wanna show you, okay? I'm going to go ahead and center this best I can, flip it, and then what we're gonna do is line that up. You're not gonna use tape we're gonna take our dimensionals, okay? I have another trick for gluing some of the thinner pieces, but for right now, we're gonna go ahead and just use our dimensionals, and I'm going to put it as close to the edge as I can. Oh, I'm trying to do it so that you can see what I'm doing. So, this way I am double catching the layers, okay? And there's a, a flush edge that I am wanting to make sure that I come as close to the corner as I can so that I'm making sure to get both of those and attaching them. Oh, hi, Teresa. How are you? Thank you again for your order. Have you gotten your stuff yet? Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do one. I'm trying to do this so that you can see. So. There we have it, and I may as well, I don't need to, but I can go ahead and put one in the middle as well. So, as you can see, now, um, now we are good to go. They are attached. Again, I love my pick tool. Um, it helps with the mess. It helps, and then um, to pop them off, and if you're ever in question, well, if it's not sticky, then... Um, you still need to do it, okay? So let's go ahead and pull these out of the way for a minute. Bring our box back in. And now we are going to cover, and let me bring that up just a little bit, like so. And I just think it's so fun to use like non-traditional colors sometimes. Okay, so we we'll also wanna show you something else from this suite. Again, I already showed you the ribbon, but now we have some heart charms that come in this suite as well. Again, just because it's in a suite does not mean you have to use it with that suite. So look at how cute these are. I don't know if you can tell, but hopefully um, I've used these on the dog card that I recently did for my sister's um, little Rocky that went to be in dog heaven. Um, so you'll see that I already, all I did is I looped it and then I tied a bow. And then what I'm gonna do is, I love the glue dots. I like to keep mine on a little clip so that it's easy for me to just roll up. And I hope I'm in the camera. So then there you see your little dot. So this lets me know, instead of keeping it in the box, um, I, you can tell that I kind of like to speed and um, get more things done. So I'm just going to attach it while it's on the roll, pop it up, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it like so. Okay, and make sure that you can see the little heart in there so you can maneuver it however you want. Then you don't have to do this step, but I like adding a little bit extra. So again, these are the elegant faceted gems that we're using. So I'm just going to open this up and they have large and small and they have a couple of different colors, but I just really am trying to concentrate on bringing in that petal pink. So I'm just going to hold it for a hot minute. And then I already, is that crooked? No, that looks good. So I already popped out the basic gray heart here, and I am going to go ahead and take one of our dimensionals and make sure you can tell that the stitching, there's a front and a back. So hopefully you can see it without it being blurry, okay? So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just 
pop one of those in the middle, pop it off with your pick tool. And then what I'm trying to do here is kind of make it a door. But if you were to try to pull that, it's going to, you know, possibly tear it. So at least they know that that is the front, right? That's kind of my goal. So I'm going to take one more of the faceted gems and, you know, whoops, I got a little sticky on there still. You could use either three of these colors and it would still look nice. And so I'm just going to put that right in the center with my pick tool. And you can tell I've had a lot of coffee. I'm shaking a little bit. All right, there we have it. We are done. And so what do you guys think? How cute is that? I mean, you get 10 of them. And it'd be very, very cute little project to give for um, Valentine's Day or just because, whatever you want. So let's go ahead and put these aside and let's get on to the card. Um, again, let me clean up my mess. I like to keep stuff picked up. All right. So this is another fun and uh, some tricks along the way as well. So I just took our gray granite this time. Okay. Let me pull out all of our projects that we're using here. I love these little cases. Just kind of keeps everything organized. Okay. So you've seen me use Stitch So Sweetly a lot. Um, and so I used this one here. It's probably the most popular size that I used. Ran it through the Stampin' um, Cut and Emboss machine. Okay. And I think that that's the only one that we used here. So um, Stitch So Sweetly. I use that one a lot. I tie a ribbon around my glue dots so when I need one, I just fold the back paper. I tried that. I actually um, had lost my clip, Trish, and I tried using the ribbon, but I didn't have it tight enough or something. It just didn't work um, for me as much. So I like the little clip, but that's a great tip too, as I've seen a lot of people do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get all of our pieces out here. So what we're going to do is uh, we just went for a pretty basic, simple card. But I want to make sure to tell everybody, everyone starts somewhere. And so um, if you don't think that you are able to do this, you know, um, I was intimidated at first as well. Um, but the more practice I did, then um, I absolutely love it. Never thought in my wildest dreams that I would be um doing a facebook live demonstrating how to do stamping up um but with that being said oh no just uh let me make sure i measure this right this is supposed to be five and a quarter by four but anyway um and you know what i i love that this is what i get to do and um yeah we're off just a little bit i don't know what i did there and then, so perfect. Love our trimmer. Um, but anyway, it just so happened that that was in God's plan for me was to do this. And I absolutely love coming on, engaging with people. Um, one of the reasons I actually did it, people ask me all the time, well, why did you join Stampin' Up? Because I've always been a scrapbooker when my daughters uh, were born. Well, what had happened is okay now i'm just taking the reverse and having it be this way but before i do that i went ahead you've seen me cut these tag punches before um i just take the punch this is two inches and you can make it as long or as short as you want i just happen to have this one already done so i'm just gonna do this flat as well so uh everyone you know why did you do stampin up well when my dad unexpectedly went to be with Jesus, a lot of you know that he was my best friend and we were very, very close. And to be honest, I just was not the same. Um, even though I'm a big believer and, and I know that my God is my protector, I just was not doing well. Didn't smile very much, didn't laugh. And that's honestly what I love to do. I, um, you know, I used to be a flight attendant for many, many years before I got hurt. So I love having fun and I just wasn't myself. So my daughter and I went to a stamp camp in Longmont with a great group of gals. And um, I was so intimidated about stamping at first. Well, I was demonstrated 
um, a Stamparatus. And I'll tell you what, that kind of just changed my whole thinking. And I had just a really delightful time. And on our way home, my daughter says to me, Mom, you know what? I have not seen you smile like that in so long. And you know what? I knew right then and there that my dad uh, was uh, letting me know that, you know what? You should be around other women that like to do the same thing that you do. And I can honestly tell you that I have some of my new besties that I go to for anything right now. And um, if it weren't for stamping up, I would not met, have met some of the most amazing women that I've had, that I have. I've gotten to go to convention. I've gotten to meet women from all over the United States. And um, I've met... Well, not met personally, but I talked to um, some in Canada, Australia, and it's just really fun, you know, getting to know people. And so that's why I joined, and that's one of the, the perks of um, doing it. Okay, so this is a silicone mat, and what I love about the silicone mat is, I don't know if you can tell, but you know what, nothing's going to stick. You can do... Um, your glue gun on here um, but we're going to be using our liquid glue with our multi with our Tombow multi liquid glue I call it the green glue okay but before we do that because I, I want to make sure that I, I have this where I want I'm going to go ahead and stamp the saying uh, meant to be so this is one that I've had a special request for a um, bridal shower and so I thought that this would be really pretty. And all you could, let's say you want to do the same thing, all you have to do is switch out the colors. And it can be whatever color the wedding is or however you want to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and come in back in with the basic gray again. So let's go ahead and stamp that first. And I'm going to do meant to be. So for those of you that also um, like crafting, is there anything specific that led you to do your crafting and what kind of crafting do you like to do? Do you strictly do stamping? Do you do scrapbooking? Do you do quilting? What do you do and um, why do you do it? Okay, let me go ahead and show you how we're gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of my liquid glue. Now, we also have adhesive sheets that are new um, that I'm gonna be showing you. Um, not today because I've got stuff on my calendar um, using the alphabet letters. And so that's gonna be fun. So what I'm doing is this is the front, this is the back. I'm, I actually even just um, tagged my sponge that this one is for glue. So I'm just gonna go like this and I'm just going to hold it with my finger and just go around. This way, by doing it this way, everybody, you're not going to get your, um, like let's say the stamp and seal or the stamp and seal plus, you're not gonna be able, to, you won't see the glue, okay? So then I'm gonna go ahead and come in and try to center it best I can without my, cam without my head and the camera. And that looks pretty good. And then just kind of press it down and that turned out amazing. And then all you'll do is as soon as it dries, you just peel it off. And I just keep this in my adhesive drawer and easy peasy, okay? So another thing that I did is I took the ribbon with the heart charm and you see that I did it upside down on the box. Well, this time I did it up at the top and you can either put it on your bow, on your heart, or you can put it up here. I actually wanted to be able to, um, I could even cover that hole if I wanted to, or I could even make it maybe just a little bit smaller. Okay, um, but I thought that I might go ahead and, let's see, let me see, how did I do this one? So this one, I think I am going to go ahead and trim down I don't know that I like how long it is. And here's my snips with my ribbon. I'm just gonna trim this down a little bit. Okay, and maybe it would look cute though. No, I'm gonna go ahead and keep up there. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my glue dots. 
and go ahead and pop it on there like so. And then go ahead and I kind of like being able to see more of the scallop, so I'm going to put it there. Okay. And then what we did was I brought back in those faceted gems. And, you know, when I was going through my inventory at the end of the year, when we found out what's retired, I realized I have a lot of dimensionals and a lot of ribbon that I do not use. So I have got to get it in gear that I need to start adding more embellishment and more ribbon to my cards and treat holders because why buy it and then not use it, right? Trish, I started stamping after I got cancer. I was late up for a while. I need to keep busy. Oh my goodness, Trish. Um, I uh, pray special angels over you. I am so sorry to hear that. I hope that you are in remission. And if it's okay with you, then um, we will put you in our prayers, Trish. That is, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Hi, Pen. How you doing? Glad you're able to join us. I hope you're feeling better. Okay, so what do you guys think? I mean, just pretty fast and simple, but very elegant. Just by changing up the color. And again, okay, so what I'm going to do is, Trish said you could tie the ribbon around, which I have done. But um, it's slid for me, so I just use my little clip, and then I'm just going to tear this off. But um, you don't want to do that until all the glue dots are gone. All right, so then let's go ahead and do the inside. So what I did for the inside is I just did this real fun um, little heart layout. So where did I get that? Well, let me show you. In this same set, so again, Wednesday nights, I try to use all the same set. Tuesday's class, however, I will be using four different sets, and so it does go a little bit longer. That's what a class for is for. I'll be showing you four different projects. So that's Tuesday, card class. Saturday morning, I am going to be doing a fun thing. So this set has these hearts, and what it does, Okay, where's my baggie with all my hearts? Um, so it pops out all these little hearts. And so I have a project that I'm going to be doing Saturday where I'm going to be using all of these hearts that I punched out. And, of course, I try to be so organized. Here they are. So look at how many hearts get pump punched out with just this one um, slide through through the machine. So I've done several different colors. As a little hint, it might be something to do with like conversation hearts or maybe overflowing hearts out of a ball jar maybe. So those are just some, for some fun hints. So make sure you save everything. So I'm using dual product, you know, that I like to do that. So what I did for the front is I wanted to make sure that I left the inside open. The reason being meant to be. Is it meant to be that they are gifting to each other? Is it meant to be that they are engaged? So I wanted to be able to leave the option open. Um, I, you could put just for you. You could put happy Valentine's Day. Our, I love our life together. You make me happy to the best friend a girl could ever ask for. We are meant to be best friends. So do you see why I left that open? But you know, if I wanted to, I could come in, which actually... I could. Um, I could always go back through with the basic gray and um, maybe fill in some of these hearts. That would be really cute, right? Well, and then you just have to find out which size it is. But that could be cute um, in maybe different colors. I've done it where I've done like multicolors. But for this purpose, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, but again, let me show you real quick how I did this one. Let's go ahead and glue this down, though, while we're here. You can either use your stamp and seal or your liquid glue, whatever your preference is. Do you guys have a preference? Do you like using the handle or do you like using liquid glue? I kind of go back and forth sometimes. One of the reasons why I do like to use the liquid glue is if I need to be able to um, move and center things better. 
What about you guys? Oh, Trish, you're welcome. Please tell me that you're in remission. But if it's too personal, I understand too. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and bring our silicone sheet back in. And let's add a little bit more glue. Okay. What are your favorite colors for Valentine's Day? Do you like the traditional uh, red and black? Because uh, actually that's what I'm going to be doing on Saturday's project. Um, but that's geared more towards your kids, for sure. And maybe... Um, all of the kiddos making for each other because I understand that a lot of the schools are back in session now. And so uh, how fun to be able to do treat holders, right? All right, so, whoops, we're, which one are we doing here? So let's go ahead and move that back out of the way and then just bring this in like so. And so look at how, how thin that is and we, we have the glue on it and you're not even gonna be able to tell. So I'm just going to center that. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's great to have a border if you want it. And just like so. Ta-da! Um, I just really like how those turned out. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and show you is I could have saved this. Oh, I like, I like pink. I like traditional, but I'm liking the different colors to change it up. Yeah, that's what I thought too is um, I'm seeing more and more of the different colors. So this is your treat box. And this is your card. I just want to show you at the last minute, um, because it is Valentine's Day, and if your heart's desire is to do treats for your kiddos or their friends or classmates, I just want to make sure that some things get overlooked in the catalogs. I am guilty of it. I'm not going to lie. I have quite a few things that um, I have not even touched so what I wanted to show you is a couple of different things that you can do to try to use up your paper and some really quick and easy um, little treat holders so last year um, I did over a hundred and some treat boxes for Halloween for my sister's school she's a special ed teacher and um, I filled these with a bunch of different candies and then um, there's little tags you can do but one of them that I want to show you, so this is just a very easy, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and come in and show you how I did that. You pretty much just need to make sure that you have a six by six at least piece of paper. Would chocolate dipped strawberries fit in the box, like two of them? They most certainly do, would, probably four of them at least, maybe three, maybe, yeah, depending on the size, but they sure would. And um, I've done a... Uh, donut box that um, I made for my niece and I actually had foil just regular kitchen foil everybody ran it through an embossing machine and then when she lifted up her donut it absorbed that grease so think about that so it would be fun but I have some fun paper coming up speaking of strawberries that's in the celebration catalog I'm going I wasn't going to show you but just real quick Thinking of strawberries, there is a new set that you can get for free. This paper and this stamp set, if you spend $100 at Celebration, you get the stamp set and all that really cute paper for free. What's fun about it is it coordinates with a new set in the mini catalog, and so it has a strawberry punch. So am I going to be doing chocolate-covered strawberries? Yes, I am. And so be, uh, be on the lookout for that. That's a, just a fun little thing. So anyway, um, this is, if you want to stick around and just look at some of the different things that I was going to do for treats, you can. Um, I didn't do this ahead of time just because I wanted to show you. People have been asking a lot of the different things that we can use for treat boxes, okay? So you just kind of want to make sure that you have at least six inches by six inches, and then we're gonna cut this down. Whoops, that's still stuck in there. Let me take my pick tool and take that off of there like so. So, since the theme tonight is grays and pinks, I'm gonna go ahead and do it to where the reverse is going to be the outside and then our tag will be the pink. So, um, that's all you would do is run it through like that, okay? And I'm gonna have that one be gray. But I could use just a heart if I wanted to because it's got a little hole and then I would attach it to here, 
okay? But I just wanted to show you real quick how fun it is to take some of these sets um, that are very convenient. They are called Tags, Tags, Tags and Celebration of Tags. This one's in the annual catalog and then this one, um, Celebration of Tags. I just realized, I hope that that is not retired. Um, or this was carried over from last year and then this is in the new one. I probably should have double checked that. But this just has some fun um, sayings on it. And then what happens is you open it up and you stamp it all three together, okay? So I went ahead and stamped it. And then what you do is you come through like so, and you run it through your machine. And I didn't do this one because you see where I kind of came off a little bit. But these would be some really cute tags. You are excellent. And then you could color come in with um, your, your blender pens, okay? Um, but the one that I wanted to show you that would be fun to do for the sets that we're doing tonight is this one has... Um, congratulations. It's your day with really pretty flowers because Deborah asked if I had any ideas about doing a um, baby boy card with the whale set. So I thought that this would be really cute because you could say, well, hello with the whale punch and use this as a tag, but then also be able to say congratulations. And so this one has um, today and always. So we would just cut the tag like so. So I thought, well, let's go ahead and try it and why not? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the congratulations one. And what's nice is that I like the versatility of them being different themes and I like fast. And so when I can stamp and cut out something in one swift, then um, that's what I'm going to do. So here's one that's already pre-stamped, so you get the idea. It was stamped and then cut out, and then you already have your string there, your hole, I mean. And then this one, bring on the Mary. And so this is just a fun set that can sometimes go overlooked. So I'm just going to go like that, okay? And for this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and do... Well, let's just go ahead... Well, does any of it, let's just go ahead and do the gray because we'll just go ahead and do the one that's already done. Chris, nice job tonight as well. Oh, thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Okay. And I, you know, I apologize, everybody. If you don't comment, I don't know who's on and who has shared. If you've shared, let me know. And if you um, are here, let us, you know, just come in and say hi. I'm gonna actually do it this way. Because otherwise I see the number that's on, but it won't tell me who's on unless you make a comment. Okay, so let's go ahead and cover up the stamp. So this is just kind of a last minute thing that I decided to do. And so we're just kind of going with it. So as you can see, look at how perfect that fits. This is a little bit light to my liking but that's okay. Um, I'm going to show you another trick. So I have what's called washi tape, but I have been um, doing all kinds of moving stuff today. So I don't know where my washi tape is. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take a sticky note and a sticky note is going to, sorry, I'm trying to get my stuff off the floor so you probably got a good look at my face there <laughs> it fell on the floor so my little piggy sticky note there's a pin that usually goes there so i don't know if i'm liking this gray but i'm just going to show you real quick that if you uh, want these to stay right in place because there is three of them that we're trying to do and this is definitely much lighter than what i probably want but i'm just going to give you um what it's going to look like. So I'm just going to go ahead, put my sticky note over that like so, and I am going to run it through my die cut machine just real quick to show you how fast that is. Okay. And has anybody got their Valentine cards done yet? Do you send out Valentines or 
Did you send out so many Christmas that you don't really want to be doing that? <laughs> I know, no lie, my sister, I have four sisters, but one of my sisters um, sent out her Christmas cards actually earlier than everybody this year. And do you know, I just got her Christmas card today, just today, because she sent really cute Christmas mask with it. And I just got it today. I couldn't believe it. Okay, so you can see actually how cute these did turn out. Um, but I probably wouldn't use the gray on the whale just because it's such a fun, vibrant. So you can see just how fun you could take whatever color ribbon you want. Um, I don't know that this would be a preference of mine. Um, and you know what? I, I wanted to show you something as well. So let's show you something since we're just kind of all hanging out here. I'm going to flip over my silicone mat and show you one more trick. Did you know that we can color our ribbon? I have mine ready to go. Wow, Trish, you're on it. That's awesome. So I'm probably going to just use this petal pink um, ribbon and go like this. But you know what? Nope, that's too much pink. So I will probably try to use the gray, but I just want to show you something fun real quick. Let's see how this is going to look. Um, the, the petal pink can be pretty light, but look here. We can color our ribbon, and so you'd want to let it dry. But since I don't have some fun ribbon that matches this color right now, then I would just come in and color it. And so whatever stamping blend you have, or you can also take it over your stamp pad, maybe with like a plastic spoon and um, just, you know, swish it over your stamp pad and just kind of let it dry. Um, but sometimes like this is petal pink, but it just doesn't look like petal pink to me as far as trying to match it with the paper because of the way that I, I've colored it. That's just one color that ah, may be a little bit different. But I wanted to show you how cool that was. So what I probably will do is just come through like so and go ahead and let's say today and always. So then I would just go like this and here is another reason why the pick tool comes in really handy. So I'm gonna come this way and I like to keep things on my spool of ribbon so that I don't waste it. So I'm gonna fold it at an angle, come through my little hole here. And if I have troubles pushing it through, then I could use my pick tool. But you can see that this is still gonna be really cute. And it's you kinda get the idea. Because I don't have any candy or anything in it right now, it's not going to hold up as well. Um, so let me just try to loosely tie it so you get the idea. But these would just be really, really cute for wedding favors, um, the bridal shower favors, um, because there's a congratulations, but look at how cute this is. And I probably could do it, but that's a pretty small bow, but I'm gonna attempt it. Can't make any promises. I could have made it longer, but since this isn't a true one that I'm gonna be using, I don't really wanna cut it off either. Um, but actually that turned out pretty cute. So let me go ahead and cut this and then I could always come back and retie it if I wanted to. But there you have it. So, and do you like the gray on gray or would you rather have this be the petal pink? The petal pink can be really light. So, there you have it. Just some really fun different ways to do hearts upon hearts upon hearts. And so, again, if you have absolutely any questions at all, uh, please go to my craftsalatte.com. And here's my host code for any of you that um, are going to be ordering with me. If you have any questions, if you are interested in all about joining my team and getting those five packs of paper for free, um, plus all the other discounts, then I would absolutely love to hear from you. 
Otherwise, thanks a lot, Tay, for joining me tonight. And I will see everybody on Saturday. Don't forget about my class on Tuesday. We're going to be doing four different projects. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a blessed night. Bye-bye.